One, two, and three. Two and three there. Um, like that. And, uh, one, two, three. Oh, oops. So that there, that there, and then that there, bricks, and that, and bricks. Um, do I really want to demolish the end of the peninsula here? I might just leave this side like this. Let me just do that there. Yeah, I think I'll just leave this stuff here, mostly. I'll fill that in there. So the side where it faces the city and all that, it's gonna be flush with the road. But I think on this side I'll just leave the natural landscape here. Just because. Get rid of the corner mark there. So I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm thinking ahead a little bit, and so the road will go there. And there'll be, there'll, be, there'll be no road here. I wonder if I should just kind of put a bit of dirt there as well. Just to pretend the hill is still there a little bit. Right, 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 alright, that's, that's good. And here, uh, I'm not sure about this, because the road will be going that way, right? This is a bit strange now. I might have taken out too much. I need to figure out where the road goes first, and then I might put some more dirt back in here. But this is the... here we go. That's the foundation of the first project. Which is... to... build a statue. Oh wait, oh wait, we're missing stuff. To build a statue... of an animal. Uh, I suggest an animal, just because, you know, you have a clear idea of... or you can do... you can easily do research as to what the animal looks like. A three-dimensional statue of a of an animal in Minecraft, which is kind of difficult. If you guys have tried statues before, you know it's not easy. We need light. Which where would I put the where would I put the lights? There. All right, let's put some lights in. Again, we're not... like, we're, we're helping people out, so I'm assuming... although most of you have done some Minecraft building. So I'm assuming that whoever's doing these projects have never done any sort of architecture design before, have never played Minecraft before. So if that person is playing, then I'm gonna give them a lot of help. So the centering is help, the lighting is help. Because we don't teach... like, this is the first project, we don't teach about light until... maybe the, the fourth or the fifth project there with the mausoleum. So, since we haven't done the lighting lesson yet, we're going to put lighting in as well. Alright, so that's the uh, that's the foundations. Where's... what time is it? What time is it? Where's the... oh, okay. What time is night? Time set... 9000? Nope. Time set... Um, 3000? Is that... which direction? Okay, this, that's the east. Time set over 9,000. Oh, okay, almost. Time set 15,000. Ah, there you go. So the light is... fairly good. It's fairly well lit. The glowstone is doing the job. Great. Awesome. That works.
That works just fine. That works just fine, I think. I was wondering if that's too fancy. If I'm like giving people too much. I don't know. We'll think about this and then we'll come back to it. Alright, next Town Square. How should we How should we address the town square? I guess it would just be mostly a flat piece of ground. Maybe I just put in a whole lot of gravel. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. Just put in a massive patch of gravel and let people deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then maybe again mark out some center lines and and you know what? No, no, I won't. By the time they get to the, so the uh, let me just look at my list. Hold on. So the town square is like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like the seventh project. So by that time, they should have a pretty good idea of figuring out center line. So that's the first project. We're going to give people more help on this first project. On the last, on the seventh project, we're not going to give them that help. So this is just going to be a giant piece of gravel. And good luck to you guys when you do it. Alright, so that's, that's pretty easy. Let's just do that. Uh, do I flatten everything? Yes, flatten everything. Town square. The idea is it's an urban square, so it's not like a... it's not natural in any way. Imagine... Um, what's a good square? I... I'm trying to think of something in... in North America, just because, you know, a lot of people are American. Not that many good squares in North America, interestingly. Not that into public spaces, it seems like. I can't think of a, a good example of a town square that you would know off the top of your head. Although, actually, some of you are European as well. So, I don't know, I'm sure you can think of something. If you can't, then just look up Town Square or City Square on Google. And I'm sure you'll find stuff. Alright, fill this in. Don't need the lake in the middle of our city. Definitely do not need pool of water, although maybe we should... I mean, if you choose to have a fountain or a, or a man-made lake in your town square, that's up to you. You may do that if you wish. Alright, fill everything in. You're in a bad place, pig. You are in a bad place. We are going to construct all over you pretty soon. if you don't move. Alright, so this goes around here. Like that. We need to build... I think I'll put in a beach uh, at that end. I don't even know where... that's east. Alright, that's the eastern end. We need to put in a beach at the eastern end of the city. And there's gonna be a, a like a, a port next to it, like a harbor next to it. Not a very big one. There's no there's no room for a massive one, but just a place where ships can dock next to the market. The idea being, you know, anything you bring in on a ship, you just bring it to market and sell it conveniently. Alright, and that there, oh look, more pigs. You're in a bad place, pig. That's not a safe place to be. You should leave pretty soon.
Alright, well the next part is not going to be that interesting. It's just going to be me putting down all of the gravel. So... I wonder if I should record it anyway. Maybe I'll think of something to say. Maybe I'll think of something to say. Um... Maybe I should go to... Google Image Search. And maybe you can do this too. I'm going to put in City Square. City Square. And maps. Oh, not maps. Uh, images. <laughs> it's um, Alright, well, if you type it in, you'll see why I'm laughing. Because mostly it's just a flat piece of ground with nothing in it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's mostly just, it's just flat pieces of ground with nothing in it. Maybe a statue or a monument or a fountain in the middle. But mostly just flat ground. I mean, the c city squares, what happens is... They're like, they're like gathering places. If there's any kind of public event, or some sort of gathering, or like a festival or a protest or something, it's just a, it's just an open space where you can fit a lot of people. I mean, that's all a city square is. So most days it's just an empty space. And uh, it's not very interesting. And in fact, part of the, part of the challenge, in fact, or part of the test, of this exercise is whether or not people put in too much stuff. Like some people, if you give them a give them a, an empty piece of land, they will have the the tendency to put in stuff because you know it's, it's empty space. I need to put stuff in, right? That's what you think. But actually, in order for a a, a city square to work, it needs to be empty because it needs to to be empty for people to gather and to do stuff, like a concert or a protest or whatever it is. Or even like a... a, a yeah. Or a market or like a, a festival or a performance. Like it needs to be empty so people can do stuff in it. So if you end up filling in your town square with a lot of trees and statues and, and gardens and parks and flowers, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you actually have to leave most of it empty in order to, to get it right. So that that's the challenge for people. So maybe you just keep that in mind. On the other hand, if it's too empty, then it's kind of boring. But if you fill up with too much stuff, then it, it doesn't actually serve its purpose anymore. So it's, it's a little bit complicated, the city square. And, um... Yeah, yeah, so... Often what, what really defines a city square is what, what's around the square. Like what's what's like the shops and cafes and restaurants and, and bars that are around the square. Like they define what the square becomes. Because the square itself has to be mostly empty. But if there's all sorts of restaurants and cafes around it, then everyone goes there for lunch and everything is cool, you know, at lunchtime. Then it's kind of awesome, you know? If there's like museums and then libraries around the square, then it's like a cultural center, or if there's like a university nearby, then there's all sorts of university students there. So the stuff around the square, more so than the stuff inside the square, defines what it is. I mean, in New York, there's a place called Times Square, but it's not really a square. It's like an intersection. Let me just look that up. In Google Images. So New York doesn't have a city square. Maybe Times Square. Yeah, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, people gather there anyway. Which is the strangest part. Like, it's like a... It's like a busy traffic intersection. But then, because New York doesn't have a city square, people gather in the middle of the road, in like the busiest part of town almost. And that's their city square, so it's a little bit dysfunctional. On the other hand, maybe it's more efficient. Maybe like you only close it down during special occasions like New Year. And then people gather there on the special occasions. And then the rest of the time it's just a road. <laughs> Whereas most other city squares, most of the time it's just an empty, empty space. So I don't know, maybe Times Square is actually doing it right. You know, it's, it's not a waste of space. Normally, you know, it's, it's a road. I'm not sure about having to shut the road down during 
special events though. But I guess, you know, New York does perfectly fine. So Times Square, not actually a square, more like Times Intersection. But there you go. That's, that's, that's possible. That's possible. In fact, the more I think about it, the more it kind of makes sense. I mean, a lot of squares, stuff like, like if you look a lot, you know, Red Square or Tiananmen Square, that's in, in Moscow and Beijing. Uh, Red Square, that's the one in Moscow. See, again, like, it's just this massive open space with nothing in it. And with some interesting buildings around it, but there's nothing in it. And so, I mean, there's people. There's, there's a few people here and there. But that's the thing, especially with these kind of ex-communist countries. Like, they, they put a big... They put a lot of effort into this spectacle and parades and stuff. And so, you know, whenever there's a parade, there's like, you know, thousands and millions of soldiers, not millions, but thousands of soldiers, like, you know, filling up Red Square and everything's awesome. And then all the other times, it's just empty <laughs> and nothing happens. Hmm, interesting. Sometimes, like, you'd use a square for a market on certain days, you could do that. You might put, like, a, a concert stand, or, like, a performance space in the square. That can work, too. You might have, like, temporary stuff going on in the square, like pavilions. 